Did you hear the chief peak? And today we're going to be doing a 30 minute upper body straight set workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through 18 exercises performed in straight sets. We're going to do two sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds. Our break time is 15 seconds and we'll have no extended breaks during the workout. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get to work. All right, we have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise that we're going to go into for the warm up is chest opener. So slight bend at the arms and then or at the elbows, and then pull the arms back. Open that chest up. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's get this thing started nice and easy. Just kind of feeling those chest muscles stretching out. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can kind of come up and high versus more down here and get that little bit of external rotation. Kind of really feel it open up a little bit more in the shoulders as well. Again, nice and easy. You don't have to pull back super hard. Next, we're going to go into an alternating middle back stretch. There we go. So all we're going to do here, pull the arm across, stretch the back, and then switch sides. There we go, again, go at your own pace, feel it stretch out, come back. If you want, you can even kind of get like a, it's similar to a chest opener, but what you're doing here is just pulling with your back. There we go. Next, we're going into arm circles. There we go, so arms out, nice little circles. As time passes, we will move into bigger circles, and then at halfway, we will reverse it. Start with some big circles here. There we go. Reverse it if you want. And then I'm going to go back down to small circles here. After this, we're going into a side bend with reach. So we're going to get our feet out a little wide here. There we go. We're going to lean to one side and then reach, stretching out the side, the obliques and the lats, a little bit of the shoulder, coming back, switching sides. Don't forget to breathe. Feeling everything stretch out. Here we go. Next, we're going to be going into alternating toe touches. So keep our feet where they are. And what we're going to do here is drop down to one side, touch the toe, come up. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. Also, you can have straight uh, or locked out knees or a slight bend in your knees either one's totally fine we are bending at the lower back here as well trying to warm up that lower back here we go after this we're going to go into bicep and tricep contractions get one more here Man. so all we're going to do here is just come up squeeze our biceps like we're doing a bicep curl and then what we're going to do is we're going to extend the arms, squeeze the triceps. So just trying to warm those up. Squeeze the biceps. Come down, squeeze the triceps. There we go. We Got to let them know. We're about to put them to work. After this, we'll get a 20 second break and then we'll start our workout. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with the workout. Our first exercise we're going into is overhead tricep extension. If you want, you can use one or two dumbbells. I'm going to use two, so I'm going to rest them on my shoulders, get those elbows nice and high, extend, come back down. Here we go. So, coming up and down, up and down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. So you're going to exhale as you go up and inhale as you come back down. There we go. Good controlled movements. Let's get one more. There we go. We're going back into it. On this next one though, I'm going to do a single arm one or a single dumbbell overhead tricep extension to show you that one as well. So. Here we go. I'm just going to grab it on one of the ends. Again, bring it up and over. So 
So then coming down and up and squeeze. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Good controlled movements here. Couple more reps. There we go. Now right, we're going in to push ups or chest press. So I'm going to demonstrate chest press first, and then on the second set, I'll do push ups. So we're going to lay down on our back here. Here we go. Bring them up. Push up, come down. Push up, come down. When you push up, bring the dumbbells together. Good control movements here. I feel those triceps burning. We're pre-exhausting those secondary reminder muscles. There we go. So we're pre-exhausting those smaller muscles, so then when we're performing the major muscle movements like a chest press or push-up, it's going to work those minors just a little bit extra. So here we go, I'm going into push-ups here, and down, and up, oh yeah, feel those triceps still burning. If you want, you can drop down, take a one count, push back up, come down, take a one count, push back up. That way you can keep going. There we go. One more. All right, we're going into close curls next. Triceps are burning. So try to keep our dumbbells together right here in front of us, and then we're gonna curl it up. There we go, coming up. And down, up, and down. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Come on. Keep the elbows by the side. Come on. We got one more. Here we go. Going back into it for set two. Couple seconds. Let's get ready. Here we go. Coming up and down. Up and down. Oh yeah, burning them biceps. Come on. If you need. You can drop your hands to your side and just do singles. Like that, still bringing it across the body though. Let's get one more. There we go. We got bent over rows coming up next. So, what we're gonna do here, bending at the hips and knees, keeping that lower back nice and straight. Coming up and down. There we go. So for these, our palms are gonna stay facing our body. If your lower back's a little weak, you could do single arm rows like this instead. That's another option there. And then just switch sides each set. So you'll do left side for one set, right side for one set. Here we go. Chest out, head up. Come on. Here we go. Going back into it. We're on our fourth exercise. My muscles are already burning here. Here we go. All right, coming up and up and down. There we go. Come up and squeeze, back down. Up and squeeze, back down. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Good reps. Come on. There we go. 
We got lying tricep extensions coming up next. So we're gonna lay down on our back here. You can use one or two dumbbells. I'll probably use two if I can grab it. Here we go, start with hands up, come down, back up. Here we go. So just tap the dumbbells to the ground, bam, come back up. We're gonna keep our arms slightly leaned back towards our head. We don't want our arms to come here. We want them to stay here to keep constant tension on the triceps. There we go. Going back into it. About five seconds. Here we go, hands up. And down, tap and go. Down, tap and go. Come on, push it out. There we go. Keep pushing. Do one more. There we go. All right, next we're going into wide push-ups or a decline press. I got these dumbbells going further and further. <laughs> so this time for the decline press, what we're going to do is have our hips up in the air. In that glute bridge position, right here, pushing up, coming down. There we go. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you push up. Inhale as you bring them back down. There we go. I'm gonna get some wide push-ups here. Here we go. Five seconds. Get a nice wide grip here. Or, I guess wide hands. <laughs> I'm always thinking about barbells. <sighs> Again with these, if you want, drop down, take a one count, come back up. Also, you can use your knees. <sighs> Either one, totally fine. There we go. <sighs> Keep pushing, come on, one more. Oh no, we got another. Here we go. We're going into hammer curls. So, palms stay facing each other the entire time here. So, coming up and up. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Remember, we don't want our elbows to kick back like that. We want the elbows to stay by the side. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's get one more. There we go. Got the sweat coming down now. Going back into it. Here we go. Hammer curls, set two. Bring them biceps. Let's go. Here we go, push it out. Woo, raise the burn, come on. One more. Here we go. We got our reverse grip rows coming up next. This time, our palms are going to be facing away from us. Elbows stay tucked in. Here we go. Back nice and straight. Palms out. Coming up and down. Up and down. We're kind of pulling up and back towards our hips. Here we go. So up and back 
towards the hips here. Keeping the back nice and straight, bending at the hips and knees. Here we go. Let's get one more. Here we go. Going to set two. Couple seconds. Here we go. Palms out, elbows stay nice and close. Up and back. Here we go, up and back. Come on. Good stuff. Come on, keep pushing. Let's go. We got one more. Here we go. We got regular bicep curls coming up. Yep, I know, just the basic bicep curls, but still get your arms pumped. Here we go. So, coming up, back down. As you come up, rotate the palms up. Try to get that pinky higher than the thumb right here. Here we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Here we go. Let's go. One more. Woo! Going on set two. After this, we got uh, clean pulls. Woo! Biceps are about to be on fire. Clean pulls burn the biceps every time. Here we go. Second set of bicep curls. Let's go. Remember, when you come up and go to go back down, don't let the elbows come like that. We don't want to do that. Elbows stay by the side the entire time here. Here we go. Come on. Let's get one more. Here we go. Good stuff. I'm actually going to go up and wait here for clean pulls. So clean pulls, a little bit wider stance, just a single dumbbell. Dropping down, pulling it up. Here we go. So dropping down, pulling up. Dumbbell stays close to the body. There we go. Back straight. We're going to switch it 15 seconds. Here we go. Switch it up. Keep pushing. Let's go. Going back into it. Here we go, a couple seconds. Clean pulls. Set two. There we go. Boom. Boom. Come on. Keep that dumbbell nice and close. Back straight. Let's go. Switch it up. Ten seconds. Let's go. Woo! There we go. Shoulder press coming up next. So for this, curl them up, palms facing out in the way, up, and down. Make sure that your elbows stay in front of the shoulders. So my elbows are here and up, not here and up. There we go. Come on. If you need to, when you're down here, use those legs, explode up, control it down. Use the legs. There you go, control it down. Explode up, control it down. Here we go. Going back into it. Come on. Five seconds. Here we go. 
Boom. Boom. Come on. Bring those shoulders up. Let's go. Keep pushing. Let's go. 10 seconds. Here we go. Going into lateral raises. For lateral raises, you do not need heavy weights. Lighter weights is probably better for you. So we're gonna have a slight bend in the elbows here. Here we go. Coming out, back down. Out, back down. If it does start to get too heavy, you can always alternate left and right. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Two more. Last one. Here we go. Woo, swim. Going to set two. Here we go. Come on. Come out and woo! Let's go. Try to keep your thumb higher than your pinky when you're out here. Let's go. Come on. Let's get two more. Last one. Come on. Oh, good job right there. We got half rep curls coming up. So for these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start halfway, come all the way up, but only halfway back down. Here we go. So start here, coming up, back down. Up, down, up, halfway down. Woo, come on. Push it out. 10 seconds. Come on. Keep the elbows by the side. No, it was no joke. All right, this time we're doing the bottom half. So we're gonna start at the bottom, only come halfway up. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, so starting at the bottom, halfway up, back down. Halfway up, back down. Come on, keep the elbows by the side. Let's go. Come on. Halfway up, back down. Let's get one more. Biceps are burning. All right, we got to show you high pulls coming up. So dumbbells by the side, get the shrug, and then the high pull. Here we go. So shrug, high pull. Shrug, high pull. Here we go. Shrug, high pull. Come on, try to keep your head up. I don't want you doing this like that. We don't want to be looking down straining our necks. Let's get one more. Here we go. Set two. Biceps are on fire still. It's been a theme. Here we go. So, shrug, high pull. Come on. Here we go, kick those elbows as straight back as you can. Keep the head up. Boom, there we go. Keep going. 10 seconds. After this, we're dropping down onto the ground for leg lifts. We've got a couple abs exercises coming up. 
Ah, there we go. So we're gonna drop down for leg lifts. Get them out if you need one. Get those hands up under the butt. There we go. So hands up under the butt, head off the ground, feet out. There we go. Coming up and up and down. If you need to, drop down, take a break, come up. Drop down, take a break, come up. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you bring the feet up. Inhale as you come back down. There we go. So on this next one, if you can, get a leg lift with a hip thruster. So we're gonna try to get those hips off the ground, really squeeze the abs here. Here we go. So, coming up, hips off the ground. Back down, up, squeeze the core. Exhale as you're coming up. Here we go, come on. Push it. There we go, good stuff. Burn those abs up. Come on. Here we go. Woo! All right. Next, we're gonna be going in to cross body pike crunches. Or uh, yeah, pike crunch. So here, come out, back up, going side to side here. So bam, come up, back down, up, switch sides. So left hand, right foot, back down, right hand, left foot. If that's too difficult, then you can bend your feet. Still too difficult. Just put your feet on the ground, try to do a crunch like that instead. There we go. I realized that I'm a little too close to the wall here. My hands kept hitting me. All right, going back into it. So, if you want, make it a little difficult, a little more difficult. This time we're gonna bring our hand and feet down to the ground and then both back up. Man, my hands are still hitting the wall. Here we go. Come on. Ah, burn it up. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, we're standing up. Good morning exercise. So you don't need heavy weight for this. It's a lower back exercise. So nice and easy is the trick until you get used to it. So right here, we are bending at the lower back, coming back up. So bending at the lower back, coming back up, nice and easy. Don't overdo it. If you want, you can come further down. Start stretching out those hamstrings a little. Nice and easy. When you make the transition from down to up, don't try to pull it like that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to strain our back. There we go. Going to set two. Remember, nice and easy. Whew. Nothing heavy. Whew. There we go. Coming down, bending at the lower back. Coming back up. Whew. Only go down as far as you can. You don't have to try to overdo it. If you can't go all the way down to the ground, that's totally fine. Whew. Here we go. Get one more. There we go. All right, dropping down on the ground. Last one, my favorite, power push-ups. I know you guys have been waiting on it all day. So, dropping down on our knees here, coming down, exploding up. Boom, boom. If you can't explode, that's fine. Just push up as fast as you can, just like that. Come on. 
Push it out. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you explode back up. One more. There we go. All right. One more set. One more finish with this thing. Easy peasy, little squeezy. Five seconds. Power push ups. One more time. Down. Up. Woo! That power part getting a little difficult. Come on. Halfway. Come on. Explode oh, as hard as you can. Oh. Woo, it's got sloppy there at the end, but we made it through. There we go. Way to push it. Way to push it. Hope your upper body's on fire. I know mine sure is. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.